I am a Harry Potter fan. Are you? If you guys are, then you might have uh, you know known this mantra or spell from the movie series that is Wingardium Leviosa used to levitate objects. Wingardium Leviosa. Stop, stop, stop. And in this video, I'm gonna give you exactly the same spell or mantra that we pilots used to levitate or take off this huge and heavy metal bird that is our aircraft. Well, I'm kidding. In this video, I'm just gonna explain to you how the aircraft take off and defy the laws of gravity and get up in the air. So if you guys are ready, fasten your seatbelts, get ready for takeoff. and welcome back to the Flytuber flying simplified through YouTube. My name is Ali Asghar and on this channel I talk about interesting aviation facts and aircraft knowledge and sometimes aircraft theory like this video. If you guys are new here and if you are interested in aviation concepts and subjects and theory etc and if you haven't subscribed already then you might want to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You can subscribe from the red button below or my channel uh, logo uh, down here on the screen. In this particular ground school and flight school series in the previous videos we have seen that how aircrafts you know uh, remain up in the air and once they are up there and then how they go up and down and turn left and right all of those videos I've already created before I link those up uh, you know in the i card and also on the description so make sure to check those videos out but the thing is uh, all those things are once the aircraft is already in the air the thing is for this video we're gonna discuss that how we actually get there how do we actually defy the laws of gravity lift up or take off and we leave the ground and get high up in the air and then perform those maneuvers, right? So yeah, that's what in this video, uh, how do we take off? In the previous videos, I talked about the two different forces that is lift and weight and how they act opposite and balance out each other to keep the aircraft in a straight and level flight. Now the question is how do we increase the lift in the first place? Now when the aircraft is stationary on the ground, the lift is absolutely zero and there's only weight acting. Once the aircraft you know starts moving it st starts accelerating and speeding up the lift increases the lift keeps increasing and increasing until unless it's equal and opposite to weight and then any further increase in the lift it'll be the lift will be more than the weight and that's how the aircraft will take off and go up in the air so lift has got its own different formula that is lift is equals to half rho v square cls these are the different components that together make up the lift and define how much lift is being generated i'll put up the, the formula on the screen if this formula is intimidating to you you know that is the reason why i tell that maths and physics is important in class 12 many of you guys have kept you know uh, asked me in previous videos and comments that why is it important that is the reason you know these are formulas and derivations etc uh, that is why you need to have maths and physics anyways so that is the formula of lift now if you look closely you know you need not get scared of anything it's just that lift is dependent upon these four factors rho is density and v is velocity cl is coefficient of lift and then s is the shape of the wing itself so if you guys look closely closely and notice that the first component that is density is not changeable it's not under our control it's the uh, you know it's under control of the nature and density is different for different airports uh, although uh, for a higher airport it's lesser for a uh, airport at the lower altitude it's more but for a particular given airport and runway density doesn't change and it's not a, under our control so that's out of the equation the other thing that we can change to change lift to increase lift is the next one that is v squared right that is velocity so if you increase velocity obviously the lift will increase right with a square function so we need to increase our velocity that is why you guys see this huge runways and aircrafts accelerating speeding down the runway and when you yourself travel you see the you know acceleration and push from the seat that's why the aircraft speed down the runway so that they can generate the speed and in turn the lift to get away from the ground could you really believe it that all of that insane amount of acceleration and speeding down the runway you know up, upwards of 100 and 200 kilometers an hour just for that one small element in that formula but that's right you know we go by the maths and we go by the theory well i told you that we need to speed up and accelerate down the runway in order to uh, take off and leave the ground right but how fast do you need to actually go the answer to that is you need to increase your speed so much so that the lift is higher and higher and it's more than the weight so you keep increasing your speed the lift keeps increasing and increasing at a point the lift and weight are equal and at the very next instant the lift is more than the weight and the aircraft without you doing anything the aircraft will lift off it will leave the ground but the catch here is that if you do this way then you will need an insanely long amount of runway a very long distance to accelerate down the runway so in order to reduce that insanely large uh, length of runway and the distance that you require 
fire to reach that high speeds uh, what we do instead is we don't just rely on the speed but we take help of the other two components in this formula that is s and cl s is basically the surface area of the wing the larger the surface area of this wing the more lift is produced for that we use something known as your flaps i'll talk about flaps later on uh, but that is about s and the last component in lift is cl that is known as coefficient of lift now don't get scared uh, basically it's you know directly linked to your angle of attack let's see what an angle of attack is well before we continue any further if you guys are getting value and information out of this video why don't you smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and share this video with your friends and groups and people who you know that might be interested in this field that might be helpful for someone let's continue with the video so angle of attack is basically the angle between the wing and the wind or the relative airflow right so you can just basically think that how the uh, at what angle the wing is slicing through the air so on the runway when the aircraft is actually speeding up the angle is zero right angle of attack is zero so this is the wing right and it's cutting exactly at zero degree angle to the wind so the angle of attack is zero but just imagine that what if the aircraft was going like that right this is the wing the wing angle is something else to the relative airflow and that will be the angle of attack the thing is the higher the angle of attack the more lift is being produced also it has uh, an upper limit after which the aircraft stalls but that is for a you know it's much more detailed we won't discuss it here but for now just understand that the more the angle of attack from the relative airflow from the wind the more lift is being produced so uh, that is why uh, if you see that you know uh, in aircrafts we attain a certain amount of you know safe speed high speed and then we uh, do a maneuver something known as rotation right uh, the we rotate the control yoke or the side stick in the airbus we rotate the aircraft what it basically does is here at the end you have seen the elevator and its functions in the previous videos so we just tilt the elevators upwards by rotating by pulling back on the stick and that you know uh, basically pushes this uh, surface down and obviously pushes the nose up and that is how we create this angle between the wind and the wing and that is how we increase the angle of attack because of this we don't need to you know accelerate to increasingly insanely high amount of speed uh, at a slower speed also we can take off another thing here is that as soon as you rotate the aircraft the wing the engines are pointing upwards so basically the thrust the forward force is also now tilted upwards towards the sky that is also taking us up and all of this you know uh, helps us take off and leave the ground well to summarize all this mess if at all you are intimidated then lift formula is lift is equals to half rho v square cls half is just a constant number rho is the density prevailing density at the airport that's not under our control we cannot change it the next is v squared that is velocity squared we can change velocity that's why you see the aircraft speeding down the runway the next is cl or uh, coefficient of lift it's related to the angle of attack and that's why you see the uh, pilots rotating or pushing back on the uh, stick and rotating the aircraft and then the last is the s or shape of the wing that is why we use flaps for taking off so that we can increase the uh, overall uh, shape or the overall surface area of the wing voila all of these things put together and wingardium leviosa that is the mantra that is a spell that we use to take off and lift off and you know leave the ground to get up in the air that is how aircraft take off wingardium leviosa One last thing that I want to quote here that I always keep saying is a landing might be difficult and complex but a takeoff is always risky it's always more dangerous than a landing uh, why I say this I'm not going I'm not trying to scare you guys or anything of that sort but why I say this thing uh, if you want to find out then I you know why don't you join in on the next video in the flight school series on the same topic of takeoff uh when i'll be explaining what i mean by that so yeah uh, you know pumped up for that video and that's it for today's video if you guys got any value uh, smash that like button subscribe to the channel and uh, take care and uh, i'll be coming up with that next video and many more interesting ones to come in the near future until then take care bye bye and happy landings